<laughs> Hi everyone, so this piece of Happy the Forward Therapy Receiver broke off my big plant. So now in this video, we are going to do a propagation of this piece of plant and I'll show you in how many ways you can propagate your Happy the Forward Therapy Receiver. Um, it's really my own fault because I didn't stake my plant properly. So my plan is to propagate this in as many ways possible. So we'll do water propagation, we'll do soil propagation. I'll also put some, um, some of it in perlite, so we'll do a perlite pro propagation. Um, I will also do a stick propagation where we'll have a piece of stem with no leaves on it. So yeah, so I hope that this video will give you a really informative guide to propagate this beautiful plant. So let's start with the easiest one, the water propagation. So I'm thinking I'll take this top part off and we will stick this in the water there we go pop it in there how easy was that so i don't know where i'll put this with this downward facing leaf with water propagation you want to make sure that you change out the water about once a week you know to um just make sure that, uh, that there's no algae or fungal growth within the water that could cause your cutting to rot so that's number one it's the easiest one to do really i love to do a water propagation because i can see as the roots form. So to me, that's great and done. So I'll just pop this over here at the back. <laughs> okay. The second one is soil propagation. So on here, you can see this piece over here. So I'm gonna cut this off above the node with the leaf. So you have this little piece. Now, if I plant this up to here, it means that a new growth should emerge from this node over there. So I'm going to use my standard soil. I'll put a link up to how I make my soil. Um, and I'm going to use a small-ish pot because I really don't like using um, pots that are big because for a small piece like this because it means that you can have too much um, moisture in the media you know it's not uh, drying out fast enough and that could encourage a rot in your cutting so i'm going to first fill this part up with some soil i should put it up all the way yeah and the soil is kind of very loose and dry. And now all I'm actually gonna do is just put my cutting in and push it down. And then what I'll do is I'll add a bit more soil on top to secure it in place. So there we go. This is propagation number two in soil. Now I'm left with what people call a wet stick. Now I've, I have had success with simply putting this in a water similar to this one and it will actually develop roots and a new node. But I thought I want to try something else and I, I want to try using um, perlite because I've seen people propagate in pure perlite before. Um, I'm going to use the size container. And I thought it could be nice to do one or two sections in perlite and two in soil without any, um, without any leaves so that we can see the results. And 
the last research I did on the line is that she placed the cuttings kind of that, like um, sideways onto the pellet or the saw, and then it should develop nodes from the stem. So I'm going to first quickly cut this. Let me just see how big my... So here goes. I'm going to cut this there in the middle. Cut this one there. This piece cut in the middle again. And cut it there. And I'll maybe keep this like this and, and plant this upright and see what happens. So here I have four pieces. So these two will go into perlite and these two will go into soil. So let me just quickly fill up my... Um, I've actually never used for that, so I have no idea what I'm doing with it. Does it need to be wet first? Wait, let's see, maybe I need to wet this first a bit. Um, so this is great if you who also haven't used perlite. Uh, we can learn together. Hmm. Well, definitely soaking up the water. Let me put in some more. Just, and there we go, starting to come out the bottom. So now what I'll do is I'll place, oh wait, if these were the two we're going to use. I'm going to actually use a chopstick to kind of make a hole in here so I can put the root down into that and lay my plant on top. So you can see here what oh that's weird. So you can see here what I'm doing. Okay, that was not the smartest idea. But you can kind of see what's happening over there. So I'm gonna put the other piece into the other side. Oh it's actually a bit long. Cut this off. And I'll place that also on top. And I've seen people actually cover this with something to keep the humidity in. So maybe I'll also do that. I will update you about that um, when we're done. So let me just um, put this there. Then we are going to do our two in soil. Just mixing this extra perlite. Um, and now we... I've pulled up my pot of soil. Do the exact same thing. Make two holes in the soil for the roots. I mean, this is a small one, this is a larger one. And just place them on top. Yeah, and then I'm going to give them a bit of water. There we go. And I will do updates on what happened with all of these. Now they saw one last piece left. And I'm thinking I'm going to also do this in the water. And I thought it would be nice for us to do updates on these. So I'll be one second. So here we go. And I will place a stick uh, into the water. And we will see what's happening. Just one little um, tip. Always make sure when you, when you do this with a stick, I should do it the right way around. Um, I'm kind of guessing the way because I knew how, how the plant grew. Um, so I'm kind of like going that this is the top part. Um, but the, usually the bottom part of the stem would be um, slightly thicker than the top part because the top part was still like growing out. So I'm hoping this is the correct way around, but we'll 
see if nothing happens. So uh, it's now part two of my uh, Happy Defora Dekisiva propagation video where we did three methods of propagation. So let's see what's happened. So the first one is the leaf cutting that was planted directly in soil. And this leaf does look particularly sad, I must say. But the cutting seems to have formed roots in the soil. Because if I pull this up, you can see that is there's definitely something anchoring it in the soil, which is obviously a good sign. I don't want to cut this leaf off just yet until a growth point um, starts to form somewhere here. So yeah, definitely happy about this one, although it is slightly awkward to manage this long leaf. Then I want to look at the cutting that was put directly in water. Now this one hmm, did pretty good. I mean, it has a nice, well-developed root system on it. It looks healthy. It's also in active growth. So yeah, I think this one turned out pretty good. Um, then I also put a wet stick in water, which is now also has an active root system that's growing and it also has a growth point. Um, then the, the other one was a wet stick in soil. Now this, I think, Hmm, has not turned out the best. And I think there might be a reason for it. There is a growth point on the one piece, but the other piece seems to be a bit shriveled. And yeah, what I think I should have maybe done, and I'm still going to actually do it, is to bag this, to put it in um, a, a plastic bag to keep the, hum the humidity. I think the humidity could be an issue with this as to why it hasn't. Um, like taken better. The cutting that was the two cuttings in perlite, similar story. The one has a growth point that's uh, coming out. It also seems to have um, produced some roots growing into the perlite. The other one still hasn't done anything and it's simply sitting on top of the perlite. So, yeah, I, I would say that. The success rate was definitely with the water propagation, the soil propagation. Uh, yeah, that's definitely... So, hmm, if, we, if we think about it, so the water propagation for the wet stick, because this did not have a growth point at the time. That has been great. The soil propagation has also been great uh, for the piece with a leaf, even though it does not have a growth point as of yet. I can feel that it is anchored in here. So there's, there's roots that are growing in the media, which is good. And of course, the water propagation with the leaf has done really well i think yeah i think so definitely i think horse propagation here has won the day but all hope is not lost i am now going to bag these um to encourage these growth points to grow and produce roots each of the other stems that have not produced growth points might die but although now being bagged and being in higher humidity might be the thing to fire up some growth points in those pieces. So yeah, I have the bags and you just simply open them up. Uh, I must also note that I have been keeping these moist. So the perlite has been moist and the soil has been kept moist to really encourage 
the root growth. But I do think the problem might be the humidity. So I'm putting this in there and I'm going to just take a spray bottle with plain water and spray in here. And this will just help create uh, humidity. And I'm going to close up the bag. This is what they call the poor man's green eyes. And I'm going to do the same with this one. And just pop this in here. And I'll also spray to really get the humidity uh, going. We'll put those to the side. Then the other thing I want to do is I want to pot up these two. I think that they've now um, developed enough of a root system and growth to go into soil. Um, let me just put that one over there. So the mix I'm gonna use is the one I always use. It's the one with plenty of perlite and coca um, to really give nice aeration, there's worm castings. I didn't put milled bark in this one, but that doesn't matter as long as you have the aeration and the fast uh, drainage. And the pot I'm going to use is this one for the bigger piece and this one for the smaller piece. Um, so let me. I did do a video where I explained everything that you need to consider when moving your Havidophora tech receiver from a, a water into soil. I'll put a link up on the screen uh, for you. So I'm gonna just fill in my pot with some growing media and take my cutting. So what's interesting about this is that the bottom node didn't produce any roots, but the one above that. So technically, I can cut this off. Okay, so I've cut off that piece of, I took it out, and I um, planted my plant deeper into the pot. So now it's, it's um, the bottom piece is gone, and I did provide a stake for my plant just to kind of um, su support it a bit because now it doesn't have the bottom part that I wanted to anchor the plant in the pot. So, yeah, there we go. This is the piece of the leaves. I'm, I'm very happy with this plant. So now we have this little piece, which I'm going to part into this uh, part and this one you can see is fine because the roots um, at the lowest node so I'm just gonna put some soil in the bottom of the pot there we go and now I will pop this in so with these two um, the soil is quite damp, so I can just actually get a cable tie to secure this, um, but I'll do that now. Um, the soil is quite damp, so I'm not going to give this water today. I might just wait two days to give this water. Also, I must be mindful now that this plant has a fresh cut that's underneath the soil. I did spray on some uh, hydrogen peroxide, but you know, you, you want to be a bit better safe than sorry. So there is moisture in here. It will help with the the roots to acclimatize. There we go, all done. My, my water cuttings are now in soil. The soil cutting is still fine, but yeah, I'm excited to see the new growth point. Uh, as soon as there's a new a growth point on this, I'll cut off this leaf because it's just dangling around and being a nuisance. 
Um, I'm very happy with how these two turned out. My soil and perlite cuttings are now in back up. The perlite one does have a growth point, so that tells me that, that the perlite is a good method. The soil one, I'm kind of on the fence on now, because now I'm thinking, should I have my hair? We had placed them um, you know, upright and not over the surface of the soil, but hopefully with the humidity bags, there'll be a um, increase in humidity which will help the nodes to push out new growth we're being hopeful about that um, yeah so i'm thinking of this whole experiment that the best method has been directly into soil um, if it has leaf and into water also if you have a leaf and if it's a head cutting i mean a wet stick cutting to first put it in water and to develop a root system and then plant it out when it has a new growth. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider hitting the like button. If you have any other tips or tricks for propagating profitable for a direct receiver, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell to make sure that you never miss any of my future videos.